Good evening. Happy Sunday night. Um, Q&A Sunday, which is... Oh, there's only a few of them left. Ah! Um, tonight's question is an interesting one. I've actually asked myself this question many, 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 many times. And I've been asked this question twice this week by different people in very different industries. Um, and their specific um, questions around it were very, very different. So I'm going to do a general kind of discussion on it. So the question is... When do you quit your job? And this is in relation to if you've got a side hustle or you want to throw yourself into a business and you're kind of, you're building up the confidence to have your own business. You might have tried a few different things. So when do you quit? Well, many people out there will tell you that if you leap, yeah, something will catch you. I've never believed that. So for many people, I don't actually, sorry, I don't actually think there's a right answer to this question. I think it is very, very different for every single person on the planet. Their circumstances, what they believe in, what their values are, their financial situation, all of those things come into account. I've never been a leaper, ever, 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 ever. When I was singing full time, I still had day jobs. I do sales jobs or I'd be waitressing or I'd do I always had something going because I was never that throw like ah, leap kind of girl it was just not me other people I know have had the confidence to just go you know what this is where I'm going I am all in and I've had incredible admiration over the years for people that actually do that I've been like oh god why can't I be like that it's, they're so brave. Maybe they're brave. Maybe they're stupid. Because sometimes it works spectacularly well. And sometimes it's a complete disaster. But they did commit to something 100%. 100%. So there's other people out there that will tell you once you've got kind of three months of the money you need to survive stacked up, that's a good job. That's a good time to throw in your job and commit yourself to your side hustle, or your business, whatever it is you want. What are we doing? And that's, you know... They say all of us should have that money, but that amount of money put aside anyway, the best of times. So that's another road you can go down. Another road you can go down is not actually having to. A lot of people think once they've got a side hustle going and they've got this other idea that it's one or the other. They either have their job or they have their business. I know many people that do both for a long time and are really, really happy doing both. OK, like going back to what I talked about the other day about having the confidence to say what you do. That's one of those things when you do have a job and a side hustle or a job and a business that you've got to be OK talking about that as well. And some people might want you to explain, well, why haven't you left your job then? Oh, your business isn't doing, obviously isn't doing that well if you haven't left your job yet. No, 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 no. And then there's another way of looking at it. And I heard this many, many moons ago and... Um, I can't actually remember who said it. Sorry about that. So I can't give credit. Uh, but my friend Angela and I have discussed it many times. Is that a lot of the time when you've got uh, another job, you can look at it as like an investor. It's like an investor client or an investor job. Because having that is supporting you in your dreams. So I just want to let you know there is no answer to this question. And sorry to the people that have asked me about it this week for me to be for me to have had that conversation with you going, well, I can't actually tell you what the right answer is because it's up to you. It's up to you when the right time to take off that security blanket if you actually want to take it off. And if you don't, don't. So happy Sunday night, guys. I will see you all tomorrow and the countdown is on. Can't wait for the last 30 days. It's going to be so exciting. Mwah. Bye.